Here goes nothing. Hola, mi amigos. Hello. Oi. Oi. <laughs> Such a weird intro. Hey, so today I'm going to be doing part two of the hood on... That guy right there. The Alti. I'm going to finish up this hood in this video. So I'm going to be doing some block sanding, some priming, filling up some low spots of some Bondo, sanding and priming again until I get that hood good to go. Ooh, magic. The hood's coming off. Let's make some B-roll out of this. I got the Audi moved out of the way so I don't get any overspray on it. I got the hood set up over here off camera that you can't see. Let me fix that. Do do do. Hood. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put on my respirator, which is gonna really suck because it's about 95 degrees outside. I have ass face right now. And I'm going to prime the entire hood. I have to say this, if I was painting this car as in like it was going to get a paint job, not just a primer job and then vinyl wrapped, I would probably not use rattle can to do something this large. I mean, it kind of worked just for the front bumper. It was a smaller area, but I would probably use a paint gun and an epoxy primer. And I think there's another type of primer I need to use. I'm sorry, I'm a novice at this bodywork stuff. I'm learning because of you guys. You guys are helping me learn because I read the comments. And then I got this guy. It looks like, um, it looks like a banana loaf. I can see a dick joke coming out of that somehow. That's good. Okay, step one, I just covered the entire hood with wax and grease remover and wiped it down with the microfiber. So that way it's nice and clean for me to start priming. I, uh... Oh, this really sucks. You, that's so gross. The hood, as you can see it right behind me, is full of all kinds of stripes from spray painting it. It looks like absolute crap, but I'm going to sand it so it doesn't matter. I started sanding a little bit of the hood. I wanna show you guys what I'm looking for to find the high and the low spot. So you can see right here, I have a low spot or inverted pimple on the hood right here. And then over here in the front, I actually have a high spot where that dent was at. So it's just slightly high. I'm probably gonna have to knock it down with a, a body hammer. Basically what I've been doing to the, the hood is on these areas, I've been kind of gliding the sanding block across it like this, the sanding block, and then down like this. So what I'm doing for these areas around the edge of the grill is I actually have this hand paper stuck to my hand and I'm doing all these areas by hand. It's a lot easier to do by hand than it is to do with this big block because it's too big. Just kind of going over them all like this, smoothing it out. Okay, this is day number two. I couldn't finish the video yesterday. It got way too windy, so it was just impossible to do this. Like, you can't really do body work outside when it's 25, 30 mile per hour gusts. All right, so I'm going over the hood with some wax and grease remover to make sure I have any of the sanding dust and stuff off. And she's actually gonna help me, right, Lucy? I have to bring this inside. Okay, she has pine cones she has to bring inside. It's like a hash brown from space the space hash brown and then a little metal hammer so basically i'm going to stick this under the hood and this above it and just lightly tap on the outer perimeter of where the upwards dent is right here in the very front that part of the high spot is gone the only part that's sticking up now is this back left corner of it so i'm just going to tap tap it out <laughs> and then once 
once it's tapped out, I'll be ready to stick you up on the tripod. I'll be ready to put the body filler on there. So I'm just gonna tap it out real quick. Ooh, dry. Just sand it across it again. And I can feel a little bit of a low spot right here in the front of it, but the high spot has been knocked down. I think it's good to go. I think I definitely knocked it out. Somebody cue the Bondo making music. Hopefully I only have to do one or two passes with filler and I should be done. I'm just gonna have to say, if you ever go to do something like this, don't do it when it's really hot and windy out because it'll make your life hell. I forgot to bring a hair tie with me. <laughs> so, <laughs> all right, here goes nothing. So this was the area right here where I had the upwards dent. And if you go across the whole surface, it feels pretty smooth. I don't feel like there's a high or a low spot anymore. Same with this. I feel like the low spot is gone that was here. I have like swamp ass of the face. Time to get some wax and grease remover and clean up this hood so I can prime it. I don't care, I'm not wearing this thing. It's too damn hot, I don't care. It's way too hot. I need a shower. I'm just gonna snap my fingers and we'll finish off this video in the morning. Ta-da! How do you keep your nails so nice, Sarah? Destroyed them, son. I know you guys really wanna see what the hood looks like, so let's, let's check it out. It actually turned out pretty decent. Ouch. I know I could be making this up and you guys would never know because it's on camera and you can't feel it, but all the high spots and low spots that I had are gone. I mean, I have some sand scratches here and there, but they're so minor, they're not gonna show through with the vinyl wrap. All the rust that I had along the front of the hood is all completely gone. It's actually nice and smooth. So, really happy how this turned out. Oh, too far away. You guys, the grill. The grill? The grill. What should I do? Should I put this back on the car? Or should I get that RS4 knockoff grill? Hmm. The RS4 knockoff grill or haha. I like keeping things somewhat close to stock, but I, I think that grill will look pretty sick. This grill or the knockoff grill? Let me know in the comments below. So anyway, we've gone back and forth on colors for the wrap and we kind of chosen this color called bottle green. It's like a medium tone green with like no metal flake or pearl or anything. And the color is really pretty here. I'll put a little picture of it. Right there. I think it's a cool color and it would look good on this car, but if you're gonna wrap a car with vinyl, you should probably wrap it in a color that would be difficult to do with paint. Something would be like really expensive to do with paint, like a matte metallic or a pearlescent shifting color, something crazy. My personal take on this is I think dark colors look better on the B5, especially this one because the headlight housings are painted that matte silver on the inside. I wanna hear some suggestions from you in the comment section below. Let me know your favorite wrap colors. Key is we're looking for a brand of vinyl that is really easy to work with, is not gonna have a lot of issues with overstretching and having those weird marks. If you've ever done vinyl wrap before, you know what I'm talking about, where you overstretch it and then you're kinda of screwed and you get these little like stretch marks on it. So give me suggestions below. Well, let me know what you guys think would look good on this car and then Eventually we'll end up choosing a color to go with to wrap 
the Scheiße Wagen. Stehtach, Stehtach. All right, we're going back into vlog mode. So I am going to go get my busted nails fixed because these look absolutely horrible. And I got some exciting news coming up that I'm probably gonna let you guys know in the next video. Some big news. So I'll see you guys soon with another video. Bye. If you ever have trouble getting hard, definitely recommend this stuff.